We're talking to Hollywood's new it girl, Margot Robbie, today. But before that, Kanye West surprises the world by showing his sensitive side. Hello, my only one. Kanye West may be a repeat offender when it comes to stage crashing, but he's sorry for it. Yeezy took to Twitter last night to apologize to Beck for nearly interrupting his Album of the Year win at the Grammys, and later saying the singer should have given his trophy to Beyonce. Kanye wrote, I would like to publicly apologize to Beck. I am sorry, Beck. This comes on the heels of the rapper making peace with Taylor Swift, the original victim of his stage crashing antics. West also extended an olive branch to Bruno Mars, who in the past he's called overrated. Last night, Kanye tweeted that he respects what Mars does as an artist and then pitched a musical collaboration. While the world may have labeled John Travolta a creep after this and this happened on Oscar night, one person is coming to his defense. Scarlett Johansson says that that kiss was, quote, totally welcome. She tells the Associated Press there's nothing strange, creepy, or inappropriate about John Travolta. Police are investigating after Lupita Nyong'o's pearl-adorned Oscar dress was stolen from her West Hollywood hotel room. Sounds like the heist happened Wednesday while the actress was out. The dress was a custom-made Calvin Klein made up of 6,000 pearls worth around $150,000. Speaking of dresses, stars are weighing in on a question that has fascinated the nation. What color is this dress? It all started when a Tumblr user uploaded this pic asking, is this dress white and gold or blue and black? Taylor Swift tweeted, I don't understand this odd dress debate, and I feel like it's a trick somehow. P.S. It's obviously blue and black. Kim Kardashian West says, I see white and gold. Kanye sees black and blue. But for Miley Cyrus, it's, of course, a rainbow. Meanwhile, the first image of Best Actor Oscar winner Eddie Redmayne in his newest role has been released. Redmayne will follow up playing Stephen Hawking with The Danish Girl, a film about one of the first people to undergo sex reassignment surgery. It's due out next year. An all-star ensemble cast is playing God in The Lazarus Effect. Ari Azmegji caught up with them to talk about Raising the Dead. No effect. Maybe if we up the doses next time, if we up the I think this movie will bring a lot of people's fears to life. You cannot answer the question, where do you go when you die? And that's what makes this movie fun to watch. When you looked at this movie, this script, what did you think the film was doing differently? I was looking for, I guess, something that felt real. In science, they're going and looking at, like, post-death things. So I felt like, oh, there's some truth to this. How real our movie is, how grounded our movie is, is quite terrifying. What are you most proud of with Lazarus Effect? Um, I think we made a movie that is basically going to satisfy genre fans, but I think also uh, people who don't like horror movies can find something in the storytelling and the performances that they will like too, because this is a documentary filmmaker with a bunch of non-horror film actors, and it makes it a little bit more unique. We're about 30 strong. Everybody gets a percentage. They hit quick and get out. You've got to think through this movie in order just to keep up with it. Also hitting theaters today, Focus, a crime caper with twists galore. BT Vancouver's Thor Dykow caught up with the cast in L.A. Chemistry is so hard to uh, to capture in a movie. Uh, how did you attain that with Will Smith? kind of came right away. We uh, we just got along immediately and had that, that rapport from, from the get-go. Will's so funny. I ruined so many of our good takes because I was laughing. I was uh, a little cowed being on the set with two people who were that good looking. You know, say Margot Robbie not making it in Hollywood has to turn to uh, grifting. What would be kind of your specialty, you think? I think the watches would be my specialty. I think there'd be a couple of surprises for sure. Andrew Martin has got some tricks up her sleeve for her gig as host of the Canadian Screen Awards this Sunday. I mean, I am who I am. I'll do the best I can. We'll see what happens. Tune in on Monday for all the highlights from the red carpet and from the Entertainment City Hello Canada Lounge. Well, we want to know what you think about Kanye West's newfound sensitivity. Is it the real deal or does he have ulterior motives? All you got to do is tweet us at NCity.